All That Glitters, a story of friendship, fraud, and fine art by Orlando Whitfield is a riveting narrative that interweaves the complexities of deep friendship with the seductive lure of the fine art world, ultimately exposing the darkness that lies beneath its shimmering surface. At the heart of the story are two characters, whose fates become intertwined through their mutual love for art. Anna is an art historian and an expert in European painting, while Jonathan is an ambitious art dealer with a sharp eye for business opportunities. Their lives collide in the cosmopolitan world of New York City's art scene, where the affluent and the aspirational rub shoulders at auctions, galleries, and opulent receptions. Anna and Jonathan's friendship begins innocently, united by their shared passion for art and beauty. Anna's knowledge complements Jonathan's business acumen, and together they climb the social and professional ladders. As their reputations grow, they start working on more prestigious and high-stakes projects. Trust and camaraderie lay the groundwork for their companionship, which soon evolves into a formidable professional partnership. Their combined expertise leads to several successful collaborations. Anna's acute understanding of art history aids Jonathan in acquiring and selling valuable paintings, while his connections provide her with unique opportunities to further her academic and curatorial work. However, beneath the glamorous facade of success, Jonathan harbors a secret. Unbeknownst to Anna, he is deeply entangled in the dangerous world of fine art fraud. Burdened by insatiable ambition and mounting debts from living beyond his means, Jonathan begins to exploit their partnership for his own gains. The story takes a darker turn as Jonathan, entrapped in his web of deceit, starts selling forgeries. Leveraging Anna's trusted opinion and forged provenance documents, he passes off fake masterpieces as originals to unsuspecting buyers. As he becomes more embroiled in the criminal underworld, his moral compass wanes and the stakes of his fraudulent acts escalate. Anna, unaware of Jonathan's clandestine activities, basks in the glory of what she believes are genuine discoveries and acquisitions. She marvels at the lost artworks that Jonathan miraculously uncovers and feels proud to be instrumental in their unveiling to the world. The adulation only serves to deceive her further, cementing her trust in Jonathan and their mission. The plot further unfolds as their latest acquisition, a supposed undiscovered work by a legendary painter, attracts the attention of experts and collectors worldwide. The painting garners astronomical interest and is set to become the crowning achievement of their careers. Just as they are about to reach the zenith of their success, the intricate facade begins to crumble. A scrupulous art conservator's suspicion is piqued during a routine examination of the painting. Upon closer inspection, incongruities emerge, and the conservator sounds the alarm, leading to a thorough investigation. As the authorities delve into the painting's provenance, a domino effect unravels Jonathan's carefully constructed lies. The once celebrated dealer finds himself cornered by mounting evidence of forgery. His world spirals into chaos as investigators uncover an elaborate scheme involving multiple fake artworks and an international network of forgers and shady dealers. Faced with an overwhelming betrayal, Anna is forced to reevaluate her entire professional life and the nature of her friendship with Jonathan. She grapples with profound disillusionment, realizing that her success and expertise have been manipulated for criminal purposes. The revelation leaves her career in shambles and her credibility severely damaged. The art community reels from the scandal as the fallout from the fraudulent scheme spreads far and wide, tarnishing reputations and implicating innocent parties who had unwittingly become involved. Esteemed institutions, wealthy collectors, and naive enthusiasts all fall victim to the far-reaching deception. In the climax, Jonathan is arrested and charged with fraud, facing legal repercussions for his actions. The trial becomes a highly publicized event, exposing the depth of his duplicity and the fragility of trust within the insular world of fine art. As the legal battle unfolds, poignant flashbacks reveal the origins of their friendship, the early days of unadulterated enthusiasm for art, and the warning signs that Anna overlooked in her earnest belief in Jonathan's integrity. Jonathan's defense portrays him as a tragic figure overcome by the pressure to succeed in the cutthroat art market. His lawyers argue that he was compelled to resort to forgery 
due to the unrealistic demands of a success-obsessed society. However, the prosecution dismantles his excuses, exposing a calculated and premeditated pattern of deceit. As the gavel falls, Jonathan is convicted and sentenced to prison. The sentence not only marks the end of his career, but also serves as a cautionary tale of corruption within the art world. Anna, although shattered by the ordeal, embarks on a personal journey of healing and redemption. She dedicates herself to restoring her reputation and uses her experience to educate others about the perils of art fraud. She emerges as an advocate for transparency and ethical practices in the field she cherishes. All That Glitters reaches its denouement with Anna curating an exhibition that explores the themes of authenticity, value, and trust in art. Here she confronts her own culpability in being blinded by the glittering prospects of fame and fortune. The exhibition is well received, marking the first step toward Anna reclaiming not only her professional stature, but also her sense of self. The story concludes on a bittersweet note. While justice has been served, the scars of betrayal endure. Anna and Jonathan's shattered friendship stands as a testament to the perils that can arise when ambition overrides integrity, and the glitter of success casts a blinding light on the truth. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.